This is the plaintiff, Sandra Duncan. She says she loaned the defendant's money against her better judgment. And sure enough, she can't seem to get them to pay her back. That's right. She went above and beyond for them. She needs her hard-earned money returned and is suing them here and now for the $3,000 she's most definitely owed. These are the defendants, Claudia Clark and Damian Williams. Claudia says the money was a gift, plain and simple. And they can't believe this woman filed a court case against them seeking repayment. A gift is a gift. And you can't just turn around and turn it into a loan because all of a sudden you need some money and they think that judge is going to agree. They're accused of causing a lot of drama. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff loaned the defendants money and she knew it was a bad idea. Yeah, she got stiffed, but the defendants say it boils down to one word, gift. It's the case of money changes everything. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. All right, Ms. Duncan, what is your relationship with the defendants? Family, friend. All right, so at some point in the last almost two years, right, yes. year and three quarters ago, they came up to you together Yes. And um, asked you what? Well, I was at work and I was called by Miss Clark and said she wanted to see me. And I asked her why. And she said she don't want to talk to me on the phone. She'd like to meet me at my home. And I said, OK, I will leave my job and I will meet you there. When I went home, she was there with Damien, who I knew since he was knee high and his family. And she said, she needs some money to borrow. And I said, how much money are you talking about? She said, $2,500. And I said, oh, I don't lend that kind of money. She said she has an income tax check to get back. And in two weeks, I would retrieve that $2,500. Well, it so happened that she said, I had the cash at home. And I said, OK, I went into my bedroom to get the cash, but then my gut feeling, I didn't feel comfortable. And I said, you know what? I don't have the cash. You guys are gonna have to wait m until Monday. Well, Monday, I was in an in-service at my job and she said she won't be there, but she would send Damien for the check. And Damien came to my job and I gave Damien, loan Damien, not a gift, loan Damien. Was there ever a discussion that this was gonna be a gift? Never. Okay, Never. you loaned Damien. I gave Damien the check, which Claudia told me to write the check in right. his name. And the check was written to Damien? Yes. Okay. And um, Damien took the check and he Do you left. have a copy of the check? Yes, I do. May I see it? Okay, so you folks say that this thing was a gift? <laughs> what evidence do you have that it was a gift? At first, Your Honor, I, I was the one she loaned the money to. Uh-huh. But for some reason, I wasn't the one she contacted anymore. Because you weren't answering her, that's the reason. Thank you. She kept calling you and calling you and calling you, weren't answering her, but that is not my question. My question, listen to my question, yes. is what makes you think somebody was raining $2,500 on you like that? Why would somebody do that? What made you think it was a gift? I, I was never told about any gift. I didn't have any conversation from that I'm sorry, time. she says the two of you were there asking for the money, is that not true? Yes, at her house. Okay, at her house. Yes. Did you guys ask for a loan of $2,500? Yes, Your Honor. And the idea was that it was going to be paid back as soon as there was an income tax check a few weeks later? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And then when did it become a gift? So somebody comes up to you, uh, hey, I, I need $2,500. I'll pay you back in two weeks when I get my income tax. Is that a uh, safe bet? Definitely wouldn't trust him. Why? Just because he's not giving you like a reliable um, way of getting. What if I can prove to you that I'm getting a refund from my income tax? I don't think so. I still don't buy it. I think that you need a contract or something. What do you say? If you give me proof that you got an in-tax com in coming. Income tax. Income tax coming. Yeah. All right, you are going to have to pay a $500 deposit fee for me to loan you $2,500. What if he stiffs you? What if he stiffs me? He can't. You oh, see yes. Oh, yes, he can. Yes, he can. Going inside. Yes, he can. Going inside the courtroom. Is it a gift or a loan? Your Honor, as I can. Is it a gift or a loan? It was a loan at first, Your Honor. And then when did it become a gift? I don't have any idea. I was never contacted. I did. I don't have any so, conversation. So you have no evidence that it's a gift. 
not for, not to me. Okay, she, now let me. me hear from you. Did she ever tell okay. you it's a gift? Okay. Me and her have the conversation. First, I didn't tell her I wasn't going to give her any money when I get my tax return because it was in May. It was in May, the day of Mother's Day. And I didn't file tax that year either. I went there, me and Damien, we asked her to lend us the, the money. She lent us the money. I told her I was going to get a check. I just started my new job. And I told her I'm supposed to get a check from the job. Okay, when did I you ever get pay her back? I'm the one who gave her gave her a part of the money. Okay. When she when she um she there she's talking. I just said, listen, Damon is the per Damon is the one who tell me to come to you to ask you for the money because first you, she don't know me. She know Damien. You know you don't know me. Not I'm gonna sorry. Take you were there and you were asking for the money. I don't know if you're trying to say that you have nothing to do with this. Is, are no, you, is I'm that not what saying that. Okay, I don't good. Have anything All right. To do so you it. paid back nine hundred dollars of yes, this loan. She, she, right. I gave her nine hundred dollars the year after. After, well, why haven't you paid her all of it? Why but, haven't the two of you paid her all of it in two years? Listen. Yeah, I'm listening. Go, I'm yeah. just not hearing an answer that sounds like a defense. It was almost two years ago. You, were, you guys were supposed to pay back in a few weeks. What is your defense if all you've paid back is 900 of it? We, we conversate about that, the reason why she didn't get it, because I didn't have it and I wasn't working. And she understand and she... She said, okay, when you get the money, No, she was incredibly me. understanding. Not only did she say that, there was one point where you felt like they were struggling so much that you were going to give them a gift of most of the money. Said, look, I'll just, you keep 700 for your baby and just give me the 2000 and we'll call it a day. But you didn't do that either. You guys yeah, didn't because, pay that either, right? Because I filed my income taxes and I didn't get back my check until today. Until today. Good, so you got I the money now? My, Huh? You got the money now no. to pay her back? No. Oh, what happened today? You haven't I, gotten your income tax today? No. Oh, well, you know what? That sounds like a you problem because you've had two years to pay her back. Two years the two of you have had to pay her back. The person who you went to to get the money, and what reason did they give you for needing money from you? They wanted to pay their rent, and she didn't get her first paycheck from the job. So it was to keep a roof over your head. The person you went to was this lady, and then two years she waits to get fully paid, and she hasn't been. And your defense is what now? That's right. You don't get $1,200 for stress. You can't change the amount that's owed to you. I am going to order them to pay you the amount that is remaining. There's also a $200 car rental. There was a remainder of $200 of a car that I rented for them in Florida. You rented for debt. them in Florida? Yes, yes. And why was there a $200 um, remainder. That was, they gave, she gave me, Claudia gave me part of the money. But and there then was the a $200, 200 deficit yes. on that? No, yes. I gave her all the money for the rental, but when they, when you return the rental, they normally tell you when you go to the toll, you have to pay so for the toll. So that's what that represents? So the toll represents? bill came yeah. and then she so tell me about. So you agree that she's right that, yes, about, about okay, the toll I got bill. It. All right. So I am going to order them to pay you a total of $1,800 plus your court costs plus prejudgment statutory interest since it's been owed. So the plaintiff prevails. The defendants are on their way out of the courtroom. If you'll step over here, please. I, I have to ask you, you, you've been issued a judgment against you now for $1,800. Uh, what are you thinking? I'm just happy it's over to have this lady. I don't have no more nightmare. Yeah, but don't you feel guilty? She, no, I she don't. gave you the money. I don't feel guilty. Why not? Because I just don't. I don't happy. I don't have nothing to do with her no more. She has nothing to do with me. She's behind me and it's done. That's it. Bad for you. Okay. You. Goodbye. Well, Ms. Duncan. Yes. You made a bad decision. I did. You know? I mean, that's terrible. She didn't feel bad at all. Well, you know, when you are dealing with people without integrity. This is what you find, but you give people a chance until they prove you otherwise, and that was what I did. Well, I hope you've learned a lesson. Yes, a very hard one. <laughs> I'm sure. Very hard yeah, lesson. Nice lady, thank you very much. Thank you so much. You must sign some documents. Harvey? Uh, Doug, here's the thing, that when it's a dispute over whether it's a loan or a gift, the burden is on the person who gets it to prove it's a gift. <laughs>